I'm Jessica Cartalia. Here are some of the stories that WJZ is working on this afternoon. Hey everyone, Rick Ritter here with WJZ. We are en route to Carroll County right now. Today we are working on a story about the Carroll County Sheriff's Office. They are actually now going to be putting armed deputies in some of the schools throughout the county. Now right now there's been no word on exactly what schools. It's only been classified as some. Uh, today we're going to get more specifics, find out exactly what schools, uh, where's this money coming from, how are they going to pay for this, and then of course all of this is obviously in light because of everything that happened in Parkland, Florida back in February, uh, the mass shooting that left 17 people uh, dead there at a high school, and then of course a couple of days ago, the shooting at Great Mills High School, such a tragic story, uh, and it was a school resource officer who authorities out there had said in St. Mary's County that actually intervened, engaged that shooter, pursued him, and was credited with bringing that entire shooting to a stop before it could have injured more students. So. Today we are going to be speaking with uh, some of the people with the schools again to find out what specifics in terms of what schools they'll be in, where is the money coming from. We're going to be speaking with parents to get reaction. This is something that uh, a lot of parents have been pushing for. They want to see heightened security, uh, more armed officers in schools or armed officers in schools that have nobody right now. So we'll be talking about that on WJZ tonight at 5 and 6 o'clock. You can follow me on Twitter, Rick Ritter, WJZ. And of course, our Facebook page, CBS Baltimore, WJZ TV as well, uh, for updates throughout the day. We'll see you later on. Shake and bake. I'm Pat Warren, and we're here with two people that you obviously recognize, Mayor Pugh and Shake and Bake himself, <laughs> on the opening or the grand reopening of the iconic roller rink on Pennsylvania Avenue. What do you think about this when you look at what it looks like now compared to what it was when you had to do that? Well, when I walked through, I was appalled. I was appalled at the carpet. It was, it looked, it just was ridiculous. Um, the table tops were ridiculous. The floor was buckled. The air conditioning didn't work. The heating system didn't work. The roof was falling in. And having known Glenn Dowdy for the years that I've known him, and know what this place meant to him, it hurt my heart. Uh, but to be, I would never have invited him to come see what it looked like if we couldn't make the change that I know that he made in this community back in 1982. So what do you think of it now? It is awesome, and I, I can only say that the people of Baltimore need to come out to shake and bake, roller skate, bowl, bring your families, enjoy world-class entertainment, thanks to Mayor Pugh. Thank you both very much. Stay tuned to WJZ for more. Much more on these stories coming up on WJZ at 4, 5, and 6.